Hi, welcome to another uh, seminar video on One Simple Voice. We're going to do a quick recapitulation of what uh, we talked about in our previous video. We were looking at the religious formation of Franny, and uh, this is incredibly important to make sure we don't misunderstand her or read ourselves into what she is saying, but to understand her from within the context of her New Age spirituality. We looked at her book list in Fixing Franny, we looked at how that she was using New Age authors, and we took a look at a few of those authors and their thoughts. And we also took a look at the influence of Eckhart Tolle. Now she talks about uh, Tolle, she quotes Tolle, and a lot of her ideas and story is very similar to Tolle. We also looked at uh, what she said concerning the role of Deep, uh, Deepak Chopra in her life. We also saw that she was partial to Buddhism at one time before rejecting all religions as a mere vehicle to God and that all of them were from the egoic mind. And this is also how she sees her, um, her involvement in the Catholic Church as well. So Franny's religious perspective is deeply entrenched in New Age spirituality. So with that, we can move forward. And we're going to talk a little bit about exegesis, which basically means to draw out. And this is what we want to do any time that we encounter anything that Franny says. So while listening to or reading anything written by Franny Rose, we must understand her in conformity with her adherence to New Age spirituality. We also must understand that her basic philosophical assumptions are contrary to Catholic teaching. And we must also understand that when she uses terms that sound Christian, such as God, they are actually being used to carry New Age connotations. So we're going to talk about what is a worldview, okay? Because we must understand that Franny has a different worldview than that which is maintained by Catholics. A worldview is an intellectual framework through which we understand the world. Or we could think of it as an interpretive lens by which we make sense out of our experiences. A worldview is a set of presuppositions or assumptions which we hold consciously or unconsciously about the basic makeup of the world. That uh, comes from James Sire from his book, The Universe Next Door, which is very, very good. I definitely recommend it. And uh, he also wrote another book that is very good and I recommend as well, Scripture Twisting, 20 Ways the Cults Misread the Bible. So we're going to look at, okay, so we know what a worldview is, these basic assumptions that we make about what ultimate reality is. Are we God? Are we distinct from God? Um, who is God? What is our relationship to him? This most fundamental and basic philosophical assumption, whatever we think about it, will permeate everything else that we think. So we're going to look at well, what happens when a worldview is confused. That is either A, somebody's trying to understand our worldview within the lens of theirs, or we are smuggling our own meaning into their worldview, which blurs the distinctions and the differences between the two. So a worldview confusion occurs whenever a person fails to interpret or understand a person or text within the intellectual and cultural framework of the speaker or writer themselves and uses instead a foreign frame of reference. It is important that we understand Franny's worldview and we only understand her from within that framework. <clears throat> In other words, we must avoid bringing our Christian perspective to our words, uh, whether spoken or written, and attempt to smuggle our meaning into them. So here's a, a brief biblical example of a, a worldview confusion at work. When the crowd saw that what Paul had done, he had just done a miracle, they shouted in the Lycanian language, the gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bowls and wreaths to the city gates, because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them. So, here they were, the priests of Zeus and the other people who were involved in this cult brought their own worldview to what they witnessed with Paul and Barnabas, acting and healing and speaking. And as you can see, it's worldview confusion. So worldview confusion occurs when a Christian encounters 
New Age spirituality through the lens of their Christianity, or when a New Ager tries to understand the pages of the biblical text through the lens of their New Age teachings. Now with that, we're going to look at a little bit of how they engage a worldview confusion when they come and bring their ideas and notions to our Christian uh, worldview. Uh, two passages that are often used. Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. He saw it and was glad. You are not yet fifty years old, the Jews said to him. And you have seen Abraham? I tell you the truth, Jesus answered. Before Abraham was born, I am. At this, they picked up, uh, st uh, picked up stones to stone him. Or when Jesus said, I and the Father are one. The Catholic Church has always understood these words to refer to the exclusive and unique incarnation of God. That God took on human flesh through the Son, the second person of the Holy Trinity, and that Jesus could use these words because he alone is God, and no one else could ever say this of themselves. New Agers Mark and Elizabeth Clare Prophet, however, state, Jesus knows his true self to be the light emanation of this Christ that always was, is, and ever shall be. And he wants you to know that your real self, your true self, is also that self-same light. They've also said, Jesus' I am presence looks just like yours. This is the common denominator. This is the co-equality of the sons and daughters of God. He created you equal in the sense that he gave you an I am presence. He gave you a divine self. We've also seen the verse, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. We've understood this to mean that those who are righteous, though finite, are blessed by seeing the pure and righteous infinite God. They're blessed by coming into a personal relationship with him. Whereas uh, this Swami reinterprets this to say, Blessed are those who purify their consciousness, for they shall see themselves as God. As you can see, this changes the very definition of God, and therefore is not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is panentheistic or pantheistic, not the theism of Jesus Christ. We've also heard die to ourselves, or deny ourselves. And we have heard that we are to die to ourselves from Scripture, but we too will hear these words from a New Age guru, but will mean something different. From the New Age, they would say, die to the egoic mind and acknowledge the God in others as we live out of the true self. Whereas, from a Catholic perspective, die is to our sinful selves. And we are to be transformed by the Holy Spirit, recreated and restored in the image and likeness of God. They are two totally different things. You may also hear a New Ager say, love your neighbor as yourself. If we love our neighbor, we love the God who is in us all and in whom we are all. We all are. We and others are God. And being God, we simply love ourselves. From a Catholic perspective, we love our neighbor because we are all created in the image of God. Love is exocentric in that it loves the other as distinct and separate being. So the method of this presentation all the way through is going to be focused on the predominance of catechesis. All right, my goal is to help you understand your Catholic faith well enough in order to recognize teachings which are contrary to it. And I also want to expose you to the paradigm of New Age spirituality and help you to understand Franny from within the context of her own worldview. I want to help you understand New Age spirituality, its dangers, and, and to recognize the New Age teachings of Franny Rose. So here are a few helpful resources along the way. Uh, these first two are magisterial documents, um, which could be found on the Vatican uh, website, or you can just Google them. Christ the Bearer of the Water of Life, a Christian reflection on the New Age, and also Letter to the Bishops of the Catholic Church on some aspects of Christian meditation. I would also recommend you to purchase and read through Mitch Pacwa's book, Catholics in the New Age. Mitch Pacwa is an expert on the New Age, and he's intimately familiar with how Catholics are drawn into the New Age. Uh, I also recommend uh, Connie Razzini's Is Centering Prayer Catholic? Father Thomas Keating meets 
Teresa of Avila and the CDF. And I also recommend uh, Marcia Montenegro's um, Christian Answers for the New Age. You can find out more about her ministry at ChristianAnswersForTheNewAge.org. She has a lot of articles she has written about books written by New Age authors and about the lives of New Age authors as well. You can also read a little bit more about her own story of having been involved in the New Age before she became a Christian. And I also recommend uh, anything by Dan Burke. Uh, he has been in association with EWTN, EWTN and director of the National Catholic Register, founder and director of spiritualdirection.com. Spiritualdirection.com is an awesome website where you can um, uh, read articles about deep questions concerning spirituality. And also the, uh, the Avila Institute for Spiritual Formation. And he is considered to be an authority on the saints and the spiritual mystical theology of the church, as well as the misunderstandings, the heresies, and the New Age infiltration. And of course, I'd recommend uh, the Catholic Wesleyan .com, where I've written 10 lengthy articles on One Simple Voice, including the uh, teachings of Franny Rose, the influence of Richard Hannafin, and the dynamics of the Diocese of Colorado Springs. And also, of course, uh, the Catholic Wesleyan YouTube channel. I have several more videos about these topics that are not included in this seminar video series. You can also like the Catholic Wesleyan on Facebook and get notifications when new videos are uploaded. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope that uh, throughout this process uh, you can uh, grow closer to Christ and guard yourself against New Age spirituality.